Okay, here is one of the last parts for this project. So I have my drawing. I detached my piece of metal. Now I'm looking at my fish and because my paper was a little bit smaller than my piece of metal, I do want to add a couple details. So I want to make sure I'm looking at it the same way as I did before. And then I can take my pointy tool and I can go ahead and add details right onto my piece of metal. I don't have to draw them first. Now, if you have a pencil, you can do it with a pencil too. Um, you're not gonna be using this side anyway. So if you wanted to add other details with just your pencil, you can certainly do that too, okay? So now I have a piece of metal that has all the designs that I wanted. This is the side that is the same image as the one that I drew, okay? That's really not the one that we want to add color to. We wanna add color to the side that's bumped out. So you, it should be a reverse image, okay? And it sh you should be able to feel all of those lines that you created in there. If you do not see them, if you do not see all of the details or you do not feel it or see those deep lines, Please, please, please put it, oops, where'd you go? Did I lose you? Oh, there we are. Um, please, please, please make sure you put your metal back onto your felt and go over any lines that you cannot see well on the other side. Please make sure you do that for me. When you're done with that, you are ready to add color. Now, my all virtual kids, you definitely have a black Sharpie at home. I don't know if you have colored ones. Um, my kiddos who will be back at school, you can, I have all of these, um, I have all of these Sharpies, the colored Sharpies. If any of my virtual kids want to come and pick up a pack of colored Sharpies, you definitely can. You just need to sign them out and you need to bring them back to me at school as soon as you're done with this project. I don't have enough for every single person otherwise. So when I'm going to fill in my stripes, so I know that I want some of my stripes this magenta color. Notice what I'm doing. I'm outlining the shape that I want to color in. I'm not going right over those bumped out lines. I'm going right next to them. I still want to see the silver of those lines when I'm done. So let me get my second color. So my second color is going to be green. When I use this green, that's not a very good one. When I use the screen, again, I am outlining where that shape is. I don't seem to have any really good greens. There's a good one. Okay. So I've outlined the shape. So when I finish with this, if I've done it correctly, I should still see the silver of my pencil line or of my indented line there. So can you see the silver still there? And then if I look here, I should still see the silver there as well. So you want to make sure you're filling in all of the silver space. Um, let me show you an almost finished one. So here is my almost finished one. And there's, kind of, there's quite a bit of glare there. So I didn't quite finish coloring in my turquoise water, which I will do, but you should be able to notice that all of my indented lines you can still see, and you can still see the silver of those lines. Okay, so you can color it how you want to. Again, if you just have a black Sharpie at home, go ahead and just do a black and silver um, project. That's totally fine. If you're one of my friends at school, I have them for you. And of course, any virtual kiddos, if you wanna come pick up some colored markers, um, just pop me an email and I will have them ready at reception for you. Okay, so have fun doing this. We have one more step at the very end. I'll show you, I'll show you that in the last video. Okay, take care everybody.